Hey everyone, want to do a quick demo. This is a TIAC A4300SX. I've got uh, Windows Media Player on in the background. Alright, let's do a record. That's coming off of the tape. That's going onto the tape. Again, coming now. That's again coming off of the tape. Mike left, left channel. channel. Testing, one, Testing two. one two. Mike left Mike channel. Left channel. Mike right, right channel. channel. Testing, Testing one, two, one three. two three. Hope everyone can see that. It's so dark. dark. This is an auto reverse model. I've got something recorded already on the other side. This also has the uh, counter repeat that I have turned on and when it rolls back, uh, the counter rolls back to all zeros and starts to break into 9999, it'll uh, stop and, and go change direction to forward again. about there. And this here is what we just recorded. Mike left channel. Testing one, two, Mike left channel. Mike right channel, testing one, two, three. Hope everyone can see that, it's so dark. I barely gave myself enough time on that. Rewind. Fast forward. Now there's a, there's a record lamp and a pause lamp. So you can see the record lamps on, and when you hit pause, the uh, pause lamp comes on. The whole thing has been cleaned. Um, I've taken this apart. I've cleaned all the mechanisms, the, the typical TX stuff. The three motors have been uh, lubricated. The capstan motor, uh, in particular, I'm getting confused with another deck. No, all three motors have been lubricated with synthetic oil. The entire mechanism, uh, the whole mechanism inside the thing has been taken apart, cleaned, and re-lubricated. All the, uh, the pots and the switches have been cleaned with Deoxit D5, and then after a 12-hour dry with uh, Deoxit Fader Lube. All the relays but that are behind this, there's about uh, seven relays. And they've all been taken apart and cleaned, in this, and it's always a pain to do that, but uh, it has to be done. Otherwise, I, I don't like selling them if they haven't been cleaned. Um, those have all been taken care of. I used uh, D5 and uh, also the, um, the, the Deoxid Gold G5 for the relay contacts. Um, the wooden sides, the, it's a really good-looking machine. Uh, there's no dents in the back. The sides are pretty, pretty, really good. Uh, there's a nick in the top of this one, and I think there's a corner ding somewhere on one of the other ones. But, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'd rate them at about a 9 out of 10 as far as the wooden sides go. There's no dents or scratches in the, um, in the face of this guy. And I've polished, I've removed this, the, uh, the tape sensor. I've removed that and polished it as well as the cap stand cap the uh, pinch roller cap and the uh, cap stand bushing here. So it, it really all looks great. There's even most of the lettering is here for the uh, how to work the, uh, <laughs> the counter repeat. Um, even the face paints looks pretty good. There's a little bit of uh, whatever goes on up here at the top of these things, a very tiny bit. Um, this thing is really looking good though. 
It has uh, two types of EQs and two types of bias, so you can set that depending on the tape you have. I did already set the bias for a Maxell um, UD Gold, which is the typical thing I do. Um, but uh, that's, oh yeah, and I even polished up these, um, the, out, the outer side. The, these, uh, the TX usually get, not necessarily pitted, but they get discolored. Uh, so those things are really looking shiny. If you want to see the pictures, they're, uh, they're on there. There are a few scratches on this guy from uh, somebody had a bent reel on it one time, just on the tension lever here, the left tension lever. A few scratches, but you can't see it when there's a reel on it. And I think that's about it. I, uh, I appreciate you looking at this. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, uh, you know, leave me an email on uh, YouTube. I appreciate it. Take care.